Today I'll be showing you how to get into the diagnostic mode of the air conditioning module on a late 90s to early 2000s Mercedes. First thing you'll need to do is start up the car and run the AC and you should be able to access this regardless of your fan speed or temperature setting. So on your AC module you're going to find the rest button and then you're going to press and hold that button for about five seconds until the screen changes on the display. Now you'll see there are two sets of numbers. The number on the left is basically a menu item number and then the number on the right is going to be the actual value in the system. The number of menu items is going to vary by the car and the year and to cycle through them you're going to use either side a uh, auto button on the climate control unit the first item is the reading for the in-car temperature sensor, B10-4. Since I have a U.S. market car, this is reading 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, if your car is not U.S. market, it's going to be in Celsius. Number two is the outside air temperature sensor. This is usually located in your front bumper. Number three is the left side heater core temperature sensor. And then number four corresponds to the right side heater core temperature sensor. Number five is the value for your evaporator temperature sensor. Number six is for the coolant temperature sensor. Seven shows you your refrigerant pressure in bar. Uh, one bar is equal to about 14 PSI. Number eight is the refrigerant temperature. Number nine says not used on all of the charts that I've seen online. So this may just be a duplicate value from somewhere else. 10 gives you the blower control voltage, and since this is a variable thing, it can go anywhere from 0.8 to 6 volts. 11 gives you the emission sensor voltage. 12 is the sun sensor voltage. Then in my car, it jumps to number 20, which is the current draw in milliamps from the auxiliary fan. Number 21 gives you the current engine speed. Number 22 is the vehicle speed in either miles per hour or kilometers per hour, depending on what market your car was sold in originally. Number 23 corresponds with Terminal 58D, which the internet says displays the percentage of battery voltage. Then value number 24 gives you the battery voltage. And I'm not sure how much this one helps or what the number corresponds to, but according to the charts I've seen, number 40 is software status. And the final value for number 41 that displays in my climate control is for the hardware status. So just to reiterate, you may have more or fewer options as far as the number of values go, uh, depending on the car, depending on the options. But this should give you a good idea of what all of the most important values in the climate control module are.